Hey guys, it's Miss Allen. I hope you had a great spring break and happy Monday. Uh, today we are going to do some artwork inspired by the artist Salvador Dali. I'm going to show you some of his work later called The Elephants. And um, we're not doing elephants, we're going to be doing long-legged birds. And I think you're going to really like it. This is mine and I'm going to show you how to create this. Let's get started. <music> So Salvador Dali was very well known for a couple of different weird paintings and I don't I mean weird in the best possible way um, but he was known for trying to make things that looked dreamlike um, and in this painting this is actually one of my favorite paintings by Dali he did elephants this is called the elephant and it was 1948 and you can see how just ridiculously long these elephants legs are and we know what elephants look like we know they don't do that but he would do this a lot with his elephants he would have elephants and even people a lot of times on stilts in his paintings um, so that's going to be where we get our inspiration today our birds that you make are going to be on stilts and you I'm just going to do one bird but if you want to you can do more birds like this painting has two elephants, so if you want to do two birds or more, you can. But it's going to be pretty fun. I'm excited about it, and I hope you guys are ready to paint. So for our birds, we're going to make them look a little bit more cartoonish. And um, in the art style of Dolly, it's going to be surrealist, which means they don't really look like real birds. Um, but we're going to start with the real birds, and really what's going to be the different part of our birds are going to be the legs. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a line that comes out, and that's going to be the back of the bird. So at the front of the bird, I'm going to make a bounce, and that's going to be the start of the head. And then if I want to complete the body of the bird, I'm going to come all the way down underneath and back up to that first line that I made. Now, I can add some tail feathers, and I'm going to put three tail feathers. And they're going to be bounces. They're going to start back here at the back of the bird. They're going to go one, two, and those are just going to show us the tail. Now we can do an eye. I'm going to do a simple little dot eye. If you want to do something a little bit more creative or more challenging, you can do that. And I'm going to put a beak using a sideways triangle. So out, back in. There's my beak. Now the wing of the bird is probably going to be some of y'all's trickiest part besides the body. I thought the body was a little bit tricky, but the wing will be a little trickier as well. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make a line that comes out toward the back of the bird. And then I'm going to go towards the front of the bird and start on that same line. I'm making a diagonal line that comes down a little bit. Now I can put the feathers in between those two. So starting at the end, I'm going to try to fit three bounces. If you can't fit three, it's okay. But I'm going to start at the end. I'm going to go bounce, bounce, bounce. And that's going to be three bounces. So now we can do the legs. A lot of people like to do wobbly legs for their birds. Um, you can do zigzags if you want to just make them straight down. That's cool. But the important part here is that my bird's legs are going to go all the way down towards the bottom of the paper to make it look more surrealist. So I'm going to start here. And I'm going to do a wobbly leg. I like silly birds. And I'm just going to wiggle a line down near the bottom. I'm not going to touch it all the way down here because I do want to leave space for a foot. And then I can do it with this leg too and I can even try to do an opposite wobble if I want to. But two wobbly legs and then we can put a foot on each one. That's going to be three toes. So start on a line. One, two, three. And go to the next toes or next foot. Start on a line. One, two, three. 
So now that the basic lines are drawn, um, we can go ahead and do a painting now. and I'm using those paints that I made, but you can use any kind of paint that you want. Um, I would suggest doing something a little thinner, like a watercolor. Um, watercolors will let those black lines really show. It won't cover it up. If you use acrylic or, um, forgive me, I never know how to say this word, tempera, it will probably cover it a little bit. Uh, tempera, less so. Acrylic would cover it. So, um, to fight that, if you don't want those lines to be covered, you can use black paint instead. Um, and that would keep it nice and strong in the background um, and also make it a little thicker. That way you're not fighting it while you're painting. But I used cool colors. I used blue and purple in the bird. And then for the background, I tried to use warmer colors. I used the pink that I made. And this was technically a green, but when I made it, if you guys remember, when I made this, that green ended up looking more yellow. And so I just decided it could go down here and it would be okay. But like I said, any colors you want to use. And I did something called a gradient in the background, which means I started with one color and faded into the other color. If you want to do that, you'll have to mix the colors while they are still wet. So if you pay, if you saw in the video, I painted the pink and then I put the, um, that yellowy green color on top and kind of mixed it in before filling out the rest of the green. Um, you don't have to do that. That's totally up to you, but I think it looks really awesome and I cannot wait to see your paintings. See y'all.